card. So it says, it's asking us which of the following should have the highest boiling point. So it's question one. So let's, uh, let's do question one here. So question one is asking which of all of the highest boiling point or the highest BP. And oop, oop, don't want that, highest BP. And A here is, I have CF4. B here would be CCL4. C here is CBR4. D here is CI4. And E here is CH4. And we're asking which of these guys have the highest BP. So let's look at a periodic table because we're going to need to know our periodic table for this guy um, to solve this problem here. And what we have here is we have um, all of these guys are bonded to carbon, right? So as you can see, um, A through E here, all of these guys are bonded to carbon. And the only difference is the, um, the, 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 we have some halogens here. We have fluorine 4, chlorine 4, bromine 4, iodine 4, and we have CH4 here. And again, this is methane here. And CH4 isn't actually a halogen. H4 is not a halogen in this case, um, but A through E are halogens. So it's asking us which of these high ones have the highest boiling point. So uh, there's kind of some factors um, to figure out boiling point. And the first one is the biggest one here is in the intermolecular forces. So the intermolecular forces of these compounds determine um, the, uh, the boiling point here. And basically the greater the forces, it would equal the higher the boiling point. And remember, there's a lot of um, intermolecular forces. There's hydrogen bonding, um, there's the London dispersion, there's dipole-dipole, and a lot of these things here. So let me just draw a sample of the first one guy here. This is CF4. So we have carbon here. We bond to this fluorine here, fluorine here, fluorine here, and fluorine here. And as you can see here, there's actually a dipole moment, right? Between this carbon and fluorine, you see this bond here. We have a partial positive on this uh, on this carbon here. And the fluorine is actually pulling electronegativity toward this fluorine, right? So this pulling this way, this way, this way, and this way. And what that means is if, it pull, if, it's, if it's pulling all four directions here, we actually have a net dipole up for this molecule is zero, right? Because again, these two vectors would cancel out. Um, the left and right would cancel and the top and bottom would cancel out. So these dipole moments would cancel out and these dipole moments would cancel out. So therefore, there's actually no dipole in this moment and this, pol this compound is actually nonpolar. And um, it's actually nonpolar. So this actually happens with all of these guys here, A through E. These are all nonpolar. Uh, nonpolar molecules and CH4 we already know it's nonpolar because carbon and hydrogen again they um, they don't have a big electronegativity difference so we already know it's nonpolar here so all of these guys are therefore nonpolar so if intermolecular if we can't find this out in terms of intermolecular forces we need to be able to solve for it using uh, atomic size so basically let me erase these guys here. So we know we we, we figure that all of these compounds are nonpolar, despite having um, different halogens. But the other factor that um, plays into part is the London dispersion forces, right? So that was uh, for dipole dipole. We know that there's no hydrogen bonding, right? Um, in this case as well. So the only force that's left here is the London dispersion forces. And with all London dispersion forces, again, the greater the molecular weight, the MW, the greater the force is. Which means the greater the force is, obviously, the higher the BP, right? So we're basically now picking which of these guys have the greatest molecular weight. So we're, 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 all these guys have carbon, so we can kind of cancel these guys out first. <coughs> Sorry. Um, all these guys have have carbon, so we can cancel them first. But what we can do is we can look at the um, the second part of the um, the the compound here. So we have four F four here. We have chlorine four, bromine four, iodine four, and H four. Right. So obviously H four has a smaller molecular weight because again, hydrogen here is one point zero zero eight. F four of them it's four, so it's fine. 
And then basically I'm looking at um, these halogens. I have F, C, L, B, R, and I, right? So F, C, L, B, R, and I, which of them have the biggest molecular weight? Well, obviously iodine does, right? At 126.90. So therefore, my uh, the highest BP here in this case would be D, right? C, I, 4, or carbon tetraiodide would be the one the molecule with the highest boiling point because it has the greatest amount of London dispersion forces um, in the compound here. So the solution here is correct. Again, CI4 is good. Molecular size, so largest, um, larger molecule, the larger the boiling point, which is correct. Um, Intermolecular forces also play a part, which is good. Uh, it says here all the molecules as above are nonpolar, which is good. So all of them have van der Waal forces, or you can think about as London dispersion forces. So therefore, um, however, van der Waal forces are stronger for larger molecules, right? Which is good. So that's CI4. So the solution here is correct. Good analysis. Thank <laughs> you.